Hey everyone. I um there's something that's been on my mind. It, you know, it's it's I've been working with um various kind of exercises and things for my back. And I know I way long ago in my posts I talked a little bit about I found a book called Healing Back Pain by by uh, Dr. Don Sarno and he talked about how back pain he his his theory, which is relatively well sort of established and his practices are remarkably successful his theory is basically that back pain is trapped emotions it's due to trapped emotions virtually every other physical underpinning of the kind of back pain that he treats um, is found to be not really the problem and I've been kind of working on that for this past year, a good portion of the last year. I think I found his book in, you know, February, March, somewhere in there. And I've been really taking that to heart and I've basically spent a year not allowing myself to worry about back pain. And as soon as I found his book, I mean immediately after finding his book, it was like a huge relief took place in me because I, I realized I'm not hurting myself. That was the biggest thing to kind of get clear on. I'm not injuring myself by continuing to just do whatever I do. And that was one of the, it's one of the big things he says early on in the book is you're not going to hurt yourself. You're not going to hurt this through exercise, you know, do what you need to do. And, um, and I really took that to heart. And what I've found in the last, oh, I'd say week or so, I had a, I had a massage while I was at the, at the uh, resort with Katie for our anniversary. And a guy gave me a back massage and he showed me, my, he told me my lumbar was a little bit too straight. And I thought, oh, wow, that's interesting because I actually thought it was too arched. So I've just been letting it kind of relax, letting it kind of feel like it's in its natural position. And continuing to really exercise and actually lean into that a little bit. And I've been waking up with no stiffness in my back, no tension. It's almost like my body's finding its core. And the thing that came along with that was a lot of emotion. I found I found myself just feeling anger, feeling like heat wanting to come through. really in alignment with what David Hawkins says too about most of our thinking most of our compulsive thinking comes from these trapped feelings and yeah sure enough that physical release started to happen all of a sudden I was having feelings of vulnerability feelings of just like fragility and I noticed I was getting really really kind of uh, just I'm kind of saying this and I'm, I'm, I'm looking to encapsulate the experience by by talking about it a little bit and by just externalizing this experience because it's something that
So maybe that turns into a release. I don't know. What I'm what I'm witnessing is kind of new because I think even before I had back pain in my life, I had the tension. I had the trapped emotion. I had the conditions for it. And then I just kind of aged into it. But it's remarkable to feel like that perspective. Because ultimately, you know, philosophies like that or medical practices, medical philosophies like that are ultimately telling us everything we experience is on us. I mean, I'm not, I think that everybody has to go their own way with your, with our own health, but there's this real kind of imperative certainly coming through for me with regard to taking it on that what's happening in my system is more than just, it's obvious, it's more than just the symptoms. It's more than just the diagnosis. Um, I mean, Dr. David Hawkins essentially extends what John Sarno is saying to everything else in our body as well. All ailments come from trapped emotion on some level. And I think what's really kind of blowing my hair back the last, it's really about a week or so when I feel like I'm just free. Like I just feel like my back is free. Um, is all the, all the correlations, all the kind of messy, sloppy emotion that's come with it. And it's been really nice to know that this is probably, this, this might be what's going on. That's been a good, that's kind of been like a, a rope to hold on to, a pillar to hold on to in the storm. But what, what if that means I'm really, I truly can heal anything that comes up in my system? How remarkable would that be? So yeah, that's where I am today. I'm just kind of reflecting on this and receiving, receiving what's what's coming through. And sitting with that emotion, letting the emotion kind of be. Not repressing, not expressing, just experiencing. So yeah. Thanks for listening, folks. Much love. Appreciate. I'll see you tomorrow.